Good morning. My name is Simber and you are watching Homesteading at Cooker Gehoofed. And today I am going to tell you my least favorite thing about postpartum time and why it irritates me so. So there's a lot of things that go on with pregnancy and labor and delivery and then postpartum time. And each one is its own little pain and discomfort. But, and, and, and don't get me wrong, there's joy thrown in there too, for sure. There's nothing better than having those kiddos. Um, it's so much fun to watch them grow and learn and just become the individuals that they are. But as much as each stage of the mama portion of having kids um, is kind of painful and, and like I said, uncomfortable, the thing that irritates me probably the most is the postpartum hair loss. Now, I know that it seems like that would be a very small thing, um, but for me, it, it, it just drags on and on, and it drives me bonkers. So, um, whenever you are pregnant, your body, because of the increased est estrogen and progesterone hormones being released, you um, you tend to keep more hair than normal. That's why I love pregnancy hair. It's fabulous because your hair is thicker and pretty and soft and luscious and supple and just, oh, I love it. But it'll, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So usually for me, it lasts until about two to four months, I guess closer to the four months mark after delivering my kiddos. My hair is naturally thin and fine and uh, yeah, during pregnancy, I have hair of a different woman basically. But then um, with most women, whenever you finish your labor and delivery, a few months later, you lose the levels of progesterone and maybe some levels of estrogen. Um, I forget if your estrogen goes back up and the progesterone plummets or if it's both of them just go back down. Either way, the hormone that is responsible for causing your pores to contract and constrict and hold on tightly to your hair um, at the follicles, which is what happens during pregnancy, those hormones deplete and all of a sudden you start losing the hair that you held on to during pregnancy that you would have normally sloughed off, that you would have normally shed. But since you didn't shed them during pregnancy and now you're a couple months out from delivering your baby, your body says, oh, it's time to get rid of that hair, that excess, that loveliness. But my problem is I fit in the category where not only do I come back to like the normal, so normal pregnancy and a couple months postpartum, but instead of going back to that normal line, I dip below. So the first time that um, this happened to me was of course after Malachi was born and I actually thought I was getting a gray hair and I was looking in the mirror, I was like, what is that? And then I realized, that's not gray I'm seeing. I'm seeing my scalp because in essence, my hair was getting so thin that I was kind of semi balding. Now I didn't get bald spots like alopecia, um, but I was just so thin in the amount of hair that I had that I could literally see my scalp. Um, so, you know, ways to get around that is you can try to fix your hair different ways. Of course, then you just find out, oh yeah, I'm missing hair there too. I'm missing hair there too lovely but you know it, it kind of hurt my pride the first time I, i'm gonna be honest apparently i've got some pride tied up in my hair right um the second time that part hasn't bothered me as much but the other things that come along with shedding so much hair do still bother me during that time frame whenever you're shedding off all that that you did not release during your pregnancy for me my hair feels nasty. It gets dry and brittle and just feels icky, especially after 
you know, 10, 11 months of, oh, this feels so luscious and wonderful. Um, but then when you're sloughing, I guess essentially the, the hairs that are still in, on your head, but the follicles are starting to release it, that hair suddenly gets dry and just bleh. So that's one part that I don't like. The other part is the hair gets everywhere. I'm talking everywhere. And you have to be careful because with a little one, you know, they get all grabsy, right? And even if they're not grabbing at you, you will find your hair in your child's crib. You will find your hair in the laundry, on the towels, on the clothes, on stuff you didn't even think you were anywhere near. Your hair is going to be everywhere. Now, I don't know if that camera actually picked up the hairs but I just pulled probably about four or five hairs off of that and that's only one layer of that laundry I've already pulled off tons other and that's being several months out from starting this whole shedding process so literally during part of that time I would pull out handfuls well not handfuls of hair from my head but when I'd brush I would pull out a handful of hair from my brush now granted my hair is long right now so that also causes some volume okay here's my firstborn he decided that the chicken flapping at him was not so much fun and he wanted me to hold him so as I was saying about the hair tourniquet what in the world is a hair tourniquet well whenever the hair gets around your infant obviously not your toddler although I mean the phrase would apply too but the concern is whenever your infant has hair your hair around their finger and it gets so tight that it cuts off circulation that is a hair tourniquet and if you are shedding like crazy and you can't control where all your hair is going it becomes a a very real um, possibility and it can be risky so especially with Malachi we would check his fingers every night to make sure that he didn't have any hair wrapped around his fingers. Now with Gwendolyn, we haven't really seen it as much of an issue. She still has had hair around her fingers, but not to the point that Malachi did. I don't know the reasoning. I don't know that she grabs any less than he does. Um, and I'm definitely losing just as much hair, I'd say, with this postpartum as when I did with his. But there you go but that's definitely something to be aware of so uh, yeah the reason it's annoying to me probably the most besides having all those extra steps is just literally hair everywhere it's it's the worst because you can't keep up with it and uh, just Ugh. Like I find hair under my pillow because it's come off and then moving around it gets caught on my fingers and then goes under the pillow. It's just <sighs> yet another stage of mamahood that's not the most fun. And again, I know it sounds crazy that that would be what irritates me the most, especially whenever lack of sleep is a big part of postpartum. But for me, that tends to be relatively short-lived and yeah it doesn't affect everyone that just affects me the hair thing it affects everyone because it is just so ubiquitous in the house and uh, what I would recommend is if you can cut your hair I was planning on doing that a couple of months after Gwen was born but we had a lot of stuff going on and that was not feasible for us but if you can Cutting the hair will help it not be as big of an issue because you'll still slough, but, um, but there won't be as much volume that you find everywhere because the hairs are shorter. Anyway, just my two cents worth. I hope y'all come back next time to check out my next video of All Things Mama. Um, I'll probably post to that a couple times a month maybe once a week i don't know still trying to figure out that schedule but i did want to let y'all know a few things about um what i experience as a mama 
I know that whenever I was pregnant with Malachi, I got all kinds of advice and information and I soaked up every bit of it because, you know, I didn't really experience many babies whenever I was younger. My brothers and I were uh, 15 months apart, so it was me, 15 months my brother, 15 months the next brother. So we were all really little during that baby stage. So the information from other people was just such a blessing and a help. And so I would love to be a blessing and a help to others um, who maybe are watching YouTube. All right, I think I've yammered on enough. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll catch you next time. God bless.